Hello, and welcome to another episode on Snow Peak Adventure. My name is Vince, and today we're going to be talking about just day-to-day -day activities living here in the A-Frame pop-up camper. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this episode. Nice warm chicken soup. Nice on a cold snowy day like today. Oh, that's good. Oh, that hits the spot. Nice. Alright, soup is all done. Bon appetit. Soup is still a little warm. So I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit and enjoy it. That soup is good. So today I'm just trying to get some homework done. I have to turn in an assignment, get that done and out of the way, and just really kick back today. Maybe I'll go hiking or sledding. We'll see. So as I'm sitting here in my office space, in my lounge, and my breakfast table, I have really looked into space management. How do I put stuff in certain places to make it accessible, make it easy to live in such a small space, and, you know, make it easier overall just as a lifestyle. So what I have done was I have added bins in my trailer. I have a drawer for shirts, I have a drawer for pants, I have a drawer for socks and underwear, I have another drawer for like food and cookware. So this week I definitely made some upgrades to the trailer and I love it. And it's so much easier now because everything's a lot more readily accessible and makes my life a lot easier. So with my space really configured to the way I like it, it's actually very livable in here. I know the trailer doesn't have a bathroom, but like I said, I'm right behind my parents' house, so there's a bathroom in our basement that I've been using. It's pretty cool. So one thing I have to figure out if I do become a full-time nomad is how am I going to go to the bathroom? Well, I'm probably going to get a Home Depot bucket, and I already have a potty lid. So all I would have to do, put a bag in the bucket, do my thing, bag it up, and it's good to go. Now, with showering, that's a different story. So, some campgrounds have showers in them, um, or there are truck stops that have showers that you have to pay for. So, I think I'm okay in the shower aspect, and it's like I already don't shower every day as it is. So, I shower every about maybe two to three days at the most. Um, you know, you don't have to shower every single day to be clean. I was at this one program where I only showered once a week. So that just shows you that, you know, you can stay pretty clean without having to take a shower in a while. So I got these bins added to the three bins that I already had. And I absolutely love this storage configuration. So up here I have some food items. Here I have some clothing and just random stuff. Here, I have my cooking utensils and food. Down in here, I have my coffee mugs and cups and plates. And then down here, I have all my cooking pans. Over here, I have socks and underwear. I have t-shirts. I have shorts and pants. And then down here, I have two blankets. It's a pretty awesome setup, and it works great. And then, I have my coffee maker. Well, the sun came out, and today I am having ravioli for lunch out of a can I buy this stuff at Aldi's and it tastes pretty good too and it's only like 90 cents 
Works good. It's really good. You wouldn't like it. Thank you, Nomadic Fanatic. Now you got me saying that. Well, I took a nice little nap this afternoon. I got to run on an errand. And now, I'm going to go off to dinner. So, I'll take you guys along with me. Come on. It'll be fun. Alright, you guys be good now, you hear? I'll see y'all in a little bit. Freaking cold out there, man. Ugh. Not a fan of that cold weather. So the place we're going to dinner is called Carmody's Grill, and it's a bar. And it's on Neville Island, and it's really good food. And usually I get the fried cod. I really like their fried cod. It's it's a killer fish. It really is. Um, so with that being said, like I said, I'll take you guys along with me. And uh, I'll show you around the restaurant a little bit and uh, show you what I'm eating. Dinner was filling. I had the fried cod and we had zucchini. It was excellent. Let's get the heck out of here and go back to my tiny trailer. Hey little mooseys. What's up guys? Oh. God, it feels good to be home guys. Ah. Well, I got homework to do. So, I'm going to get busy with that and I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. So I'm watching Ice Road Truckers tonight, and I just love how the Canadian people are just like, Hey buddy, hey, you know. I just think it's awesome how they have their different accent. I think it's kind of funny, but... 
Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button. It really means a lot to me. And I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. So, Moose and I, we're tired. We're going to hit the hay. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.